Minister of Education has assured Nigerians that President Tinubu is fully aware of the situation in the country and is working 24 hours to address the problems. He stated this in Yola during a town hall meeting with critical stakeholders in the state. This meeting of critical stakeholders in Adamawa State attracts the attention of a large section of the residents, students, youth leaders, market women, people living with disabilities, political and religious leaders. They gathered to brainstorm and provide workable solutions to President Tinubu to address various challenges bedeviling the nation. Various speakers expressed their frustrations over the rising inflation, hunger and poverty across the country, but thanked the federal government for initiating the process, which they say will go a long way in proffering solutions to the myriads of challenges confronting the nation. Speaking separately, Honorable Ali Uwakali Boya, the member representing Fufore and Song Federal Constituency in the House of Representatives and former Deputy Speaker of Adama State House of Assembly, Sunday Peters, thanked the federal government for initiating the dialogue, adding that it will go a long way in ushering new, renewed understanding between the leaders and the led. Going on in this country. We are our husbands, and we as women, we are mothers, we are wives. And everything that will be this country, will be the people of this country, will be the people Reacting to the submission of the various stakeholders, Professor Tahir Maman, Minister of Education, appealed to Nigerians not to partake in the nationwide protest for peaceful coexistence and more dividends of democracy in the country. He said President Bola Tinubu has done a lot for Nigeria within the one year of his administration and more would be achieved in the next three years. We shouldn't, uh, the people shouldn't go as actors to buy parking or protein and make violence when they are able to take advantage of it. If these small people on the fringes can take advantage of uh, it, so we shouldn't allow that now. And that's why we, as a state government, at the federal and state level, uh, we are all for the same age. This will be the first meeting that Adamawa stakeholders from different political parties will come together to proffer solutions to address economic challenges bedeviling the nation since the Tinubu administration came on board. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.